At Port Harcourt, it was the turn of river warriors to pay royal homage as they staged a floating pageant of history. In carnival mood, the tribes who dwell alongside the Bonnie River in eastern Nigeria were greeting their queen, and the ancient cannon on their huge war canoes echoed their welcome. One by one, the great canoes paddled past in review. Many had taken an active part in the tribal wars during the last century. colourful armada swept by, each gaily dressed with flags and one carrying its own type of naval witch doctor or juju man. Though on this occasion his services were hardly needed, the river pageant had cast its own spell. Of all the peoples in Nigeria, one section perhaps most needed the new hope for the future inspired by a royal visit. These were the inmates of the leper settlement on the Oji River, and the Queen did not fail them. At an exhibition of their work, Her Majesty learned how many of them are finding the road back to complete health thanks to modern drugs. The following day brought an exhausting round of engagements extending over 13 hours. It began with the inauguration of the Apapa Wharf extension in Lagos where the Queen was greeted with flowers. The wharf will now have deep water berths for nine ships. This day was not entirely without light relief. During the afternoon, over 30,000 schoolchildren gathered on Lagos Racecourse showed themselves hoarse when the Queen and the Duke toured their ranks in a Land Rover. Then came a display of traditional dances, with the almost incredible antics of stilt dancers proving the high spot of the rally. On that same evening after dinner, the Queen held an investiture and knighted Dr. Samuel Manua, Chief Medical Advisor to the Federation of Nigeria. Installed as a companion of the Order of St. Michael and St. George was Brigadier Edward Gibbons. <laughs> 